What's up guys and welcome to the game that needs no introduction. One of the most anticipated titles of this year. Welcome to Far Cry 6. Dude, I literally cannot wait to sink my teeth into this with you all. This is going to be an amazing series. Want to keep this intro short, so first up, huge shout out to Ubisoft. Seriously, this is crazy. So the game comes out on October 7th. It's October 4th when we're uploading this video. Massive, massive, massive thank you to them. It really means a lot. Thank you guys for trusting me and, and allowing me to upload early and that sort of thing. Also, huge shout out to G Fuel, an amazing sponsor of mine. They know how excited I am about this game, so they wanted to boost my code. If you guys are looking to order some G Fuel, you want to save some money, use code TMARTIN. Use that top link down in the description, and we've got 30% off right now. And finally, the most important shout out goes right here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. This is going to be an amazing series. Let's get into it. Yara is an island in the heart of the Caribbean. In 1967, a Garia revolution led to a crippling blockade. Frozen in time for 47 years, the island collapsed into poverty until a new leader was elected with a cure to rebuild paradise. El Presidente of Yara, Anton Castillo. My true Yarans, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen. A cure Grown for cancer? Within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island, chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. Chosen. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son Diego will be drafted tomorrow. Hey, Danny. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will that serve shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on, you ditched us. Ran out to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? Now you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's <laughs> local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. She's a Danny. freedom fighter. Fucking say something. All right, so we could be a, uh, a male or a female here. I'm, I'm thinking let's go with the female, Donnie. They got my name wrong. <laughs> Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. Would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck up. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Aye. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boat's waiting. The drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. <laughs> no. Coño! Fucking blackouts. Too big for a blackout. The fucking package? Oh yeah, do you know what's going on? Rapid must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. What the fuck? Rapid must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. Alejo, no! Rapid must report for duty. Alejo, get down! Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Now! The, the boat. You're coming. You will you promise me, Lita. See. Si. Come on, Danny.
It's time to get the heck out of here and go to Mexico, baby. Just gotta get to the boat. Stay close, Rita. We have to get to the boat. Okay, then. When we get to Miami, we'll say goodbye to Alejandro. I promise. Open up! Coño, get down! There's nobody here. What are they looking for? Hey, Rojas should have answered the call. Next asshole who opens the door is Danny Rojas. Come on. They're looking for us. Uh, FND, get out here. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We're looking for Danny Rojas. Get to the boat, baby. Get to the boat. Come on. I'm warning you. This way. Okay, okay. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Uh, what the fuck? Come on. I have a family. Wait. Oh. Shit. Gotta go. 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 They're going to see us. Come out this time. Some soldiers, Lita. So we take the source. Let's go, Lita. You coming? Yeah, she's coming. She's with us. Ready, Danny? Go! Here we go! These the 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 freedom fighter tunnels here. The fuck are you taking Marked me? in blue. Come on down, girl. This is a clear path from the '67 revolution. Recognize the markings? Yeah, from when we were kids. Looks super clean down here. This is so fucked. Just gotta keep it moving. Get to the boat, baby. Just keep telling yourself. Get to the boat, get to the boat, get to the boat. They went this way. Get on you. So much blood. Get down on the ground. They're close. Just keep going. I'm not even gonna wait for Lita. We just gotta go. Sorry, Lita. You, you you better fend for yourself. Come on now. Just keep following this this path, Danny. Stay with me, Lita. Shit. I'm not staying where I'm at. Let's go. Lita, zip line. Just keep running. Just, no, okay. Okay. Just gotta keep going, just gotta keep sorry, going. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It wasn't here. Shit, Lita. Where are you? Just gotta keep running, Donny. Torre de Leon. Castillo's fucking castle. Donny! Fuck. Like I said, I'm not waiting for you, Lita. We gotta get the heck out of here, girl. Come on now. No time to waste. We're getting chased. Time to go. Where the fuck are the police? They're just letting the military kill us? La noche de la muerte. The boat's over there. Run. Time to go. My goodness, man. This is terrible. Entire city's just getting torn inside out. Look at all these poor people. We're almost there. We made it. Please, we have to get on that boat. Abuela, what the hell I'm gonna do with baseball cards? Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. 
Oh, yeah. Marco! Always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? He gave up his ticket. For his family. Bullshit! Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come He's on, dead. Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get out of boxing gal! Let us on! Don't worry about it, Chamaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lira. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a fishing boat. You be on, no, no! <laughs> It's him. Anton! Before he was El Presidente, me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, me. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sick, Tirano! You have poison, Yara! You have poison, your son! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. His son. <laughs> I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. What just happened? It's fucked. Vamos, vamos! That's one of the, the craziest villain intros I've ever seen. <laughs> Danny survived. Waking up on the beach. Somehow. Lita. Lita! I can't feel my legs. Fuck, Lita. This is all my fault. My phone. Forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. 
follow the code like when we were kids. Stop it. Need that. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. So we washed up on the, the Libertad's Islands, their hideout. It's time to start fighting back. Mm, Far Cry 6, let's go baby, I've got chills dude, this is going to be such a good series. I hope you guys are ready. You're going to be pumping out videos like crazy. It's going to be a great time. And here we go. Welcome to, um, not Yada. Yada's somewhere off in the distance out there. So many dead. Coño, I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. Oh, this is awful. So yeah, this is, this is basically like a hideout island. Found a pistol. Shit. Pistol's empty. There's no ammo. Vulture. Need to find that camp. About to be eaten, right? Here we go. Dude, this game is incredibly beautiful. Look at this. I, I, I can't even take it. Anyway, it's time. It's time to go. We're gonna get in the trail. Looks like we've got some uh, blue markings from the Gadias that we're gonna want to follow. How you doing, man? You sound like a raptor. Bunker forty-three. Looks like we've got some parts. Shit, who's shooting? Better stay quiet. We might might have some enemies up here in front of us. I see some red on the mini map. I can smell it on your clothes. Your sweat. It's the stink of a traitor. All rotten on the inside. How did I know you were scavenging for Libertad? I smelled it. That's why you died. Now, I'm going to call this in. You? You're... Just disgusting. Just nasty, nasty You're people. You're the only one looking for Clara. Looks like we've got some more... spray cans here. This machete's pretty nice, not gonna lie to you. Slice and dice, baby, all day. All right, check in here. Munitions, leg gear. Got gear that we're gonna be able to upgrade over time. Looks like this is gonna give us a uh, slightly larger sidearm ammo reserve. So nothing crazy, but bit of an upgrade. All right, we'll take it. Some new pants, love it. Let's keep on going. Get to Libertad, steal a boat, sail the fuck out of Yara. That's Easy. Fine. And now I'm talking to myself. Perfecto. Oh, fuck. Shit. Don't get too close. I thought I heard something back there, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm not going to bring attention to myself or anything. Oof. Okay, so we want to get up top there. We're going to use a, Been a good while old grappling since I hook. Used one of these. All right. Up we go. Clara doesn't want visitors. Made it to their camp. Gonna show your face before you shoot me? I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. You are the only survivor? Clara Garcia. Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? See. Si. Lucky. Need to know the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. 
<laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermana. Lita said you'd help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. <laughs> Come mierda. Respect. You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny. Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards. I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple. Castillo's got, what, 300,000 troops? I count six burnt-out guerrillas, and you, with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Oh, wow. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. Hmm. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all of this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. You'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. Let's go find Juan. Here we go, time to fight back, get back to our, uh, our base. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? Tell you to that. I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees, but it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. All right, so it's uh, a, a nice a nice start here, I guess you could. <clears throat> as long as Danny helps us, Danny stays. All right, so we've got a uh, a new family here, I guess you could say, kind of a temporary one. It's obvious that Donnie doesn't really intend to stay and fight. She's not a guerrilla. Doesn't want to be one. She just wants to find her way off this island. I'm sure that's not going to last, though. Looking forward to fighting with the people, fighting back, and freeing Yada. So right now we're heading to... Uh, Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. The spy shit works, Clara. One. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble. Especially in areas with a lot of soldados. See, si, I got it. A smart carrier picks their battles. Suerte. Okay. Sounds good to me. So we're going to be able to holster our weapon. Obviously, soldiers aren't going to look at us. If we've got a holster, I mean, if you get too close, they'll, they'll still see you. But all about that first impression. <sighs> We are going to Armonia, a tiny little town on the river over here. And Juan's going to be at the bar. Such a beautiful island, man. Look at this sunrise that's happening over here. Look at that. Ugh. You can kind of see why Juan wants to... Or not Juan, uh, Anton wants to keep it all to himself. Looking, looking for Juan, my man Juan, our arms dealer. Let's do it. Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara, <laughs> or is it Colombia? Kirat, Chechnya. 
Juan Cortez. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Another. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez. What do you think gave it away, Guapo? Guapo, my man. This is in a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, si. I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, Wapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. Coño! <laughs> Let's go, Guapo. Good boy. You fucking rat. You were more dead anyway. What the fuck? See, Guapo is in love with you. Again. I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. All right, so we've got uh, got a bit of an issue here that Juan's gotten us into, but we're gonna be just fine. This guy's hiding behind the, the cover there. Got him. You get him, Guapo. Good job, buddy. He's down. Foul's got a bit of a kick to it, but we're going to be okay. He's down. Last one over here. Come on now. He's done. We good? Shit. Okay, we're good. Let's get the hell out of here before the whole fucking army shows up. I'm drunk, but I'm not that drunk. Right behind you, old man. I love how Guapo just instantly runs into battle. Starts Guapo taking everyone wants to out. Be your friend. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump. <laughs> Only one way to find out. What do you think? You want to be friends, buddy, or? You just gotta go potty. Good boy. So we can direct him, we can have him go over there, we can bring him back, we can tell him what to do. It's uh, a pretty great setup. One is talking. I can tell you handled a gun before. What's your name? Danny. So Clara says you're a legend. Ex-KGB, ex-CIA. <laughs> I got more fucking exes than your porn search history. <laughs> Some men, they break eggs for breakfast. But Juan Cortez, he breaks fuck. Hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to uh -oh. go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? A supply outpost. See that smoke? That means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in Yara. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The cerveza and chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. And it's rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. You coming with me? Fuck no. You got guapo. You can tear shit up with him. Wapo's sunning himself over there. Behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. <laughs> okay. At least you're here to help Wapo. So. Weapon or not, military will shoot me on sight. I'm gonna here. say you. You chill there. We're gonna try to sneak in the side here. If we can make this sneaky, that'd be ideal. I don't know how well that's gonna work for us, though. Is the problem. We need a silencer. Three people here. And then one more at the front that we saw. She's definitely gonna have to go 
first. <clears throat> we'll make a sound. Down. And we should be able to come around this guy. Get the second one, then we can get the guy up top and the guy out front. Beautiful. You guys think we can straight up steal this right now, or is this going to notify him? It's what one out of four. What are you going to do with this one? We've got gunpowder. Guess this could be useful. Supremo bond. It's the third this one right like there. It. MS 16 S is that is is the S a silencer? I think the S might be a silencer. No, it's it's just it's just like an M14 or something. That's okay. But it is going to be a lot more accurate, obviously. Single shot. Love that. So our final piece is going to be over here on this table. More shit for one. And we're going to take this last guy out. Found all your shit, Juan. Good work, Danny. Now hurry up already. We need to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. All right. Whole thing's been taken down. Let's go. Nice job, Guapo. Way to watch. Wanted to go silent. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. Lead the way. So what's with all this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait. <laughs> like a spider or a serial killer. So, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. And I came here on a chopper in our baby invasion of Santuario. <laughs> Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? Orphanage in Esperanza. And the military. I'm no guerrilla. Just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla... Always. Always. Enough with that shit. Too late. The horse is out of the barn, and now the fucking cocaine is all over the kids, Danny. <laughs> Excuse there me? Is no other option. America is my option. <laughs> of course. And you think Americans want your yard and blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. You don't quit, do you? Nope. Guapo hates quitters. Coño. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Guapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Guapo with your life. Guapo's yeah. the man. I love Guapo. Not sure I'm there yet. You got time. You said your chopper was shot down on in the invasion. Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, I... It's grounded. But I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? You just did. Always use the right, right tool, tool for the right, for the right, job. right job. Words to live by. Okay. Dude, we are suited and booted up here. MGs mounted on the side of the mountain. Okay. I see what you guys are doing. We brought him back. First mission complete. Thank you very much. I know. I'm a good you now. How many others? The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. <laughs> Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Rule 11. Fargaria, Resolver isn't making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you got. Juan Cortez. Resolver. The time you learn about Resolver, Danny. I was six when I rigged my first bike with a chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to Resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, Resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you've got. Keep talking. Chaos Danny, with everything we've got. It's the workbench. 
Go ahead, Danny. Get cozy with it. Let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's fix that. Rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. Sometimes I lie awake at night asking Soft myself... Soft target rounds. Juan, how can you kill people faster? <laughs> the answer is soft target rounds. Okay, we'll install Excellent, this. Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay, let's look at your other rifle. The M16S. Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet and vest today. You're gonna need some armor-piercing rounds. Oh, okay. These rounds fly straight and true, and go through Kevlar like shit through a goose. Nice! Now you got your own supply of high-velocity war crimes. <laughs> Let's look at your attachments. Just what I've always Time to wanted. Make your very first suppressor. Let's this go. will turn a bang into a bang, at the cost of some range. Okay. It's quick to overheat, reduces weapon noise, greatly impairs the effective see how range. Easy that was. Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. Oh, the yeah. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Well, thank you, sir. Damn. Making shit is addictive. With that workbench, you can build a new Yara. One of a kind has been completed. But I don't think he's done with this yet. We do have... El Supremo. Danny, I've got big plans for you. But first, I need you to get a thing for me. Now, I hear you ask, Juan, what is this thing you need? All you need to know is don't try to eat it, talk to it, or put it in your pants. But Juan, I hear you ask, where is this thing you need? Head for the radio tower and follow the trail north. It'll take you to an abandoned camp on the east side of the island. I can mark it on your map. You'll meet my contact there. She'll hook you up. And Danny, you pull this off, I'm gonna give you something for pulling me from the bottle. A little gift an old friend gave me for saving his life. Not that you saved my life, just... I get the fuck out of here. I love it. That, that's actually like having a conversation with them on the menu screen or the mission screen. That's pretty cool. So, WrestleVare and scavenging, obviously, we're going to want to scavenge, collect materials, supply drops, that sort of thing, and then we can use the workbench to be able to upgrade our weapons and a cigar on Sunday. equipment and stuff like that. So, do or die. All right. Looks like we've got a, uh, a bit of a way to travel here. I'm going to see if we can hop on this horse. Here now, who's a good boy? Okay. Let's go. Don't mind if I do. I haven't ridden a horse since basic training. Just riding through the Caribbean countryside on a horse, baby. It's beautiful. It's just a shame that the island's in the shape that it's in. The sounds in this game are great. I don't know if you guys heard when, when Juan was walking up the thing, you could hear like the flip flop, flip flop of his flip flops. Now the galloping of the horse here. It's all pretty incredible. Danny, some tyranny 101. Checkpoints lock down the movement of people across Yara and will shred your tires with goddamn road spikes. Well, unless you got a horse. See, si, I've been through enough of them in Esperanza. Clear the checkpoints, destroy the billboards, and watch Steven not rise from the ashes. Okay, well, I'm... I'm Already in the middle of it. Uh, road spikes driving fast through a checkpoint will blow out your tires. Take out the soldiers in the F and D billboard to capture the checkpoint. Gear scouting vehicles will also be available once it's been captured. So we're going to get more horses and vehicles and stuff like that. Probably could have come in a little, a little less hot. Reload's not the quickest thing in the world. All right, we're going to take out the billboard here. How do we destroy the billboard? Ah, uh, I see a convenient barrel. First girl, armored, probably could have used our silenced armor piercing rounds, but that's our first checkpoint capture. Step one of many. Bet this place has a stash room. Minute to come, a stash room, huh? Can't get in there. It's definitely in there. How do we get in there? Uh-oh. Juan, the checkpoint is clear. Didn't that feel good? 
You've earned some guerrilla karma today. Keep it up, Danny. Beautiful. All right. Woohoo! We got our first hey. sniper rifle, huh? How you doing? Oop. Okay. Well, we just opened a can of worms, and I don't think we wanted. Oh, he's dead. He's he's good. We're good. You wanted something? What's up, man? What do you know? You want to hit the military where it hurts? There's an anti-aircraft site on Santuario. Blow it up. Muchas gracias. Okay. Got some some intel from the boys, but uh, I think we're we're good for now. I do want to check out. Dude, this is crazy. So we got the Yaren SRA sniper rifle. Obviously going to want to upgrade this thing over time, but that's pretty exciting. Let's continue on up the hill here and move along with our objective, though. The radio tower that he mentioned is right here. Juan, I found the tower. Don't stop now, Danny. Find the guerrilla path and follow it to my contact. See, okay. I'm on my way. This place is just so beautiful, man. We've got water on each side. Okay. Take the path to the abandoned camp. Hardcore parkour. This must be it. You're in the right place, Danny. My name is Raisa, and I'm going to be helping you steal shit from Castillo today. Are you going to tell me what I'm stealing? Depleted uranium. Perdón, I, I thought you just said uranium. You heard me. Look, all I know is I burned my last contact in the army tracking it down for Juan. You ex-military? Isn't everybody? Okay. Just show me where it is. First, you take this parachute. Trust me, it can save your life. Now I'll take you to the old Spanish fort. They've got it locked up inside. Okay. Well, um... Thank you for the parachute. I... This should be interesting. I'm gonna collect anything you got for me here. Got little pamphlets and stuff. Okay. Time to go. Conscript or volunteer? Conscript. My number came up, so I did my time. You? Volunteer. All I wanted to be was a soldier. You know, wear the uniform, serve my country. Found out the only kind of soldier Castillo wants is a blind fascist addicted to his every word. <laughs> so now you're a traitor. Yeah, and I'm not the only one. There's a guard posted at the watchtower ahead. He's going to let us use it to scout out the fort. He can also give us useful info. What does he want from us? One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. Two, a little bribe to these double agents will get us military intel. Right. No weapons. Pesos ready. All right. Bribing double agents. Some soldiers are F and D double agents and have valuable intel. We can buy them out, baby. There he is. Hope Can't he trust him, but we can buy him out. Appreciate the help nonetheless, even if you're a nasty double agent. All right. What do you got for me? Okay, check this out. Here's where you can find some weapons around here. I appreciate it. Five so, new F and D caches have been you revealed. Rice, uh, are about to do? I don't want to be around for it. Okay, well. See you later, sir. Everyone's got their price. Not every soldier's a fanatic. Some are just trying to feed their families. Just remember to put the guns away before you approach them. That makes sense. Guapo, stop climbing wall. Okay, you, Guapo, I'm, I'm, I'm. Can I, can I dismiss? You? I'm gonna dismiss you. See you later, buddy. Go go enjoy yourself. Go find some friendly other feminine crocs to go hang out with or something. Kind of getting in the way right now. When we're ready for stuff to pop off, sure. But when we're trying to be stealthy and scout missions out and stuff, I don't need you climbing the walls. Use your phone to scout out enemy soldiers and see their weaknesses. Got a workbench here. I already given you his right tool for the right job talk. <laughs> The right tool for the right job, baby. I love it. We can use our phone essentially as, as binoculars. It's going to be able to tag, reveal our weaknesses, install different ammo on your weapons if we need it. Okay. I'm going to pick up all these parts and everything. Interesting. Okay, let's um, let's check what we've got going on first of all. Oh, yeah. 
Just gonna take a look around the whole thing. Looks There's like they've the got mortars. Judge. Alvarez has the key to the armory. Careful, Danny. He's higher rank. In Castillo's army, that means he's better trained, quicker with the trigger, and a tough motherfucker. So he's gonna take more bullets. We're gonna be ready to uh, to really lay into him. I don't see anybody up front or anything. I mean, it's honestly this not fort too bad. Is the most protected base on the island. These soldiers have been issued with body armor and helmets. Nothing armor piercing rounds can't handle. Use the workbench if you need to craft some, and then go snatch that uranium, Danny. No, we're good to go. So we're gonna use um. That parachute I gave you could come in handy here. Just don't drop into the middle of the fort, okay? We're gonna use some armor piercing rounds and let's let's go. <laughs> Wasn't sure what the parachute button was. We almost almost really failed right there, but we're okay. So it appears we did not tag everyone. You guys think we try to go in the front door or do we try to go around the back side? I feel like there's got to be something back here in the back side. We've got to get to it from the front door though. Okay. I s Are we even going to be able to jump that? I don't even know that we're going to be able to... I don't think we're going to be able to jump that. This side looks like it's gonna work. Ah, I s okay, I see an option. I see an option. Whew. The thing is, is I, I don't... I don't know how tough that guy up front's gonna be with the armor. I don't really wanna risk it. I don't really wanna get off to a, a bad start here. I'm gonna get up top to be able to take this zip line. I'm gonna try to be as stealthy as possible. It's locked. Can we hop up? Beautiful. Wrestle there, baby. It's all about that wrestle there. All about finding alternate routes and creating some chaos. Into the side of this castle we go. Dude, the machete kills are insane. Okay, is there anything here we can grab? The key. Oh. They should get me Juan's uranium. Oh, there's a second key here. On the minimap, it's it's over there. It looks like it's it's down. Mm. Found the armory. The uranium is inside. I'm gonna take out the camera, disable the alarm, holy cow. Uh, as I was saying, the, in, in our early access a couple months ago, use the key, come on, get the uranium. I, I set off the alarms the and it was it was just chaos, it was not good. Okay, uranium's Juan, ours. you didn't fucking tell me I was stealing uranium. It was supposed to be a surprise. Now bring it back to me. What if this shit kills me? It's depleted uranium, Danny. Stop being such a pussy. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little bit terrified right now. We just gotta get out of here. Looks like there's something we can pick up right here, though. I'm gonna take that. Beautiful. Okay, we gotta go. There's the big, big bad captain up there. One shot, headshot with the armor piercing rounds. That is is pretty, pretty incredible right there. Can't miss your shots, Trev. I don't know if we want to mess with this guy. So it looks... It looks like we're going to have some sort of... Weapons cache in here. Looks like this was another way in. Locked. Ah, okay, nice. Look at that, and we got ourselves a weapons cache. Whatever. The auto car, auto autocrat pistol. Okay, not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be, but we're okay. We took out the whole base. 
Nice. Nicely done. Not gonna lie to you, that was, that was pretty intense. But yeah, in the, the early access period, I was trying to tell you guys this, but, you know, obviously very stressed out. Um, set off the alarm. People started running at us. It was, it was very scary. Wow, it is a straight up one shot headshot everywhere. That's incredible. I was curious if clearing the entire base was gonna like, you know, capture the base, conquer the base, anything like that. It appears that's not the, uh, that's not the sitch, so. We're just gonna get out of here. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the blues of this water. Incredible. Let's head back to Cloudus Camp.